Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story, and today I'm with Terry Larson. Terry, good to see you. Good to see you. And Terry is, without exaggeration, the Jaguar aficionado. He's got some books out on C-types and D-types, and today we've got one a little bit before then. What's the Jaguar that we have, it's Jaguar that we have today? Jaguar. It's a 1938 uh, SS100, 3.5 liter. So the SS stands for what? Uh, swallow sidecar. Swallow sidecar. It was uh, evolved from a swallow from the sidecar company. And the 100 is uh, top speed. Top speed. Can you imagine doing 100 in this? In the late 30s. Yeah, that was moving <laughs> along pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. Let me grab the cameras. We usually do. So Terry, how long have you had this one? I've had it uh, for about 25 years. And you are years. what owner of this 1932 car? We're the second family owner. Second bought it from the nephew of the original owner. Family. The, owner. the original owner bought it new and took it on his uh, honeymoon through uh, Belgium and France. And he settled in uh, Brussels. And during the war, he was the mayor of Brussels. And uh, he drove it during the war. And after the cleanup of the war, he moved to England. And when he passed away, he willed it to his nephew and uh, we bought it from his nephew. So we're second family owner, it's got 58,000 miles on it. We've driven it to San Diego and back when it was 108 in the shade, and there's no shade between <laughs> here and San Diego. And we drove it up the coastal highway, so we've, we've been on some trips in the car. It's a fantastic car. No problems? No, no. No did not finishes? No, no. <laughs> it's go. a great car. Let's go right to we've the car. We've had good fun. Look at this car. Now what are, first of all, let me show people something right off the bat, which is that little hundred right in the center. I think that's how cool. Now, you've got these bug, it's not bug lenses, it's uh, rock lenses or something. For uh, stones? Yeah. Protect from stones. And interestingly They hinge up. Go ahead, show you me. You just unclip it. So you can clean it? Just like that. Got yeah. some stones okay. in there? Yeah, there we go. Original stones <laughs> Original from the stones, 30s. Sure. Yeah. And then tell me about these, these brakes here. What's this whole... That, uh, it has a combination of hydraulic shocks and on the front it has friction shocks and you can adjust it to tighten them up. And that was period correct? Yes. Wow. It's a very original car. I've restored quite a few of these cars and this is uh, the most original one I've, I've had or seen. It's a great original car. The instrumentation, uh, none of the faces have been redone. They're all original. And the, the SS. It's, it's not a trailer queen, but it's a seriously good, honest car. A lot of the chrome has not been redone. It's the original color combination. The gunmetal. Yeah. It looks great. Let me just show people. I'll do that so it makes it easy. Let me show the car back here. Is this a comfortable car? Yeah. When you took it to Sam. Obviously, um, they kind of drive like a truck sports car. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, for that period, pre-war, they are very comfortable. Now, what was the first Jaguar? Jaguar. Uh, well. What's the what first, happened what's after, the first year? after the war, they dropped the SS for obvious reasons. Okay. Uh, and uh, they chose to go with his Jaguar because they are beautiful, sleek, and fast. Uh, so the name fit well. On the left is a petrol reserve valve. This? So you've got a, about a three gallon reserve. What's the switch? You run out of fuel, that's the headlamp switch. And that's the wiper. And tack and speedo. And this folds down, so you see there's a second right. windscreen there. For high speed, you fold the windscreen down and you got the Brooklands. Now tell me what this is. That is an old original registration for the car from 1957. That's pretty cool. Look at the little mirror. Yeah. It actually has a fold down with it too. That's great. And all of the vents here. Let's uh, we'll open both sides. So okay. let's open that side first. Okay. I just want to show people. That's the chest plate. 
What is this material here? It's just a lacing to help protect the uh, the bonnet from okay. against the cowling. Here's obviously the exhaust side. There's a period correct feature. It's for hooking up to a trickle charger. <laughs> yes, correct. All right, got it. Yeah. All right, let's. Uh, the other we'll, side. We'll sh we'll see the other side. Sure, certainly. That's some interesting knobs on it too. Look. Yeah. They just tighten down. There's a hook on the bottom. Yeah. Tightens down on the bonnet. Oh, that's wonderful. Look at that. SU carbs, brass bodied fuel pumps, which were kind of hard to find because uh, during the war obviously they were melt melting down the brass for ammo. Wow. I put in an aluminum radiator and a fan shroud that makes it uh, a lot more functional, especially in Arizona. I can drive this car in any kind of heat. That is great. Well, let's start her up. Okay. Do you have to do anything special to start her up? No. Not really. Tell me what these knobs are on the steering wheel. Turn okay, signals. that's advance and retard and then the headlamp dip. For a second. Yeah. Oh, you are? Yeah. yeah. I, know, I know brake lights here. Oh, okay. All right. All right, let's uh, shut her down. And I do have a question for you. Yeah. What's this little spring back here? That is Opposite a vent. The... Uh, they call it a pigtail vent. So uh, when the fuel is sloshing around, mm -hmm. You get a vent in the tank, you need a vent in all the fuel tanks, but the fuel can't make it that many turns and then drip Got out. Got it, drip out. Okay. It makes perfect Pretty sense. Pretty functional. It works. Yeah, Terry, always fun hanging out with you. Great car as usual. Thanks so much for showing us and giving us the history of this car. You're welcome. My pleasure.